Wow. There's a ton of questions revolving around Mr. Professional. So today we're going to address all those questions in this video. The first thing is how much does Mr. Professional weigh? Well, before we get to his weight with the flight case, let's see how much I weigh. So I'm going to jump on this scale right over here. As you guys can see on the scale, I am weighing right now at only 116 pounds. I'm going to round it off to 117 pounds. So now I'm going to grab this flight case with Mr. Professional. I'm going to jump back on the scale. I'm going to see how much this weighs. So let's go ahead and check the weight again. Pick this up. And we are at 178. So that's 60 pounds, 60 pounds, 60 pounds. So this weighs 60 pounds. Mr. Professional is inside with the camera and with the iPad. Now let's go and see how much the flight case weighs without Mr. Professional, just empty. Let's see how much weight it adds to it. And then I'll tell you exactly how much Mr. Professional weighs when assembled with the camera inside and the iPad as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna weigh the flight case and then I remove the flash head and then we're gonna go ahead and weigh Mr. Professional with an iPad 10.9 and an R100 already installed inside. I'm gonna jump on the scale again with you guys and we are at, without the flight case, uh, we are probably gonna be at 116.7. Okay, nothing has really changed. I'm gonna round it up to 117. Now I'm gonna grab the case and jump on here again. Bring it in, 117, so 148. So what's the math on that? 30, 117, 148 minus 117, 31 pounds. I suck at math. Okay, so the flight case alone is 31 pounds. I'll go ahead and move it to the side. Now I'm gonna jump on with Mr. Professional and see how much this thing weighs when it's fully assembled, huh? Let's see. 146 minus 117. 30? Okay, <laughs> sweet. So the flight case weighs 31 pounds. Mr. Professional, I gotta go on the, on the website and reduce, because I put 31 pounds. I'm gonna reduce it by one pound. And it's interesting because this is including the, the pin, and this is also including the iPad and the R100 inside here. So that's what you're looking at, guys. Pretty much to round it off, 30 pounds here, 30 pounds here. They're gonna be hauling around around 60 pounds. You're gonna be able to move this around pretty easily. 30 pounds, I need to get to the gym. Cool, all right, next question. Let's go ahead and address the next questions. Great, so we're gonna cover more questions about Mr. Professional, the nearly perfect photo booth. One of the questions is the faceplate. I wanna show you that this faceplate is an iPad Air fifth generation. And of course you guys can go with something larger, 12.9 which is gonna take up more real estate. So you guys can select whatever place plate you want. In addition to that, you'll be able to actually order a secondary face plate just in case you wanna upgrade your iPad down the line. Also, another question is camera compatibility. I recommend you guys go with at least an R100 and I'm gonna show you why. If you guys come right over here, there's an R100 right in there. And as you can see, it fits in there perfectly, but most importantly, it doesn't need an additional adapter like the R50. You can simply connect the trigger up to the top. So that's another thing. And if you guys can see towards the bottom, there's not a lot going on. Everything is really, really simplified. Cool. So another question that someone asked me is extra lights necessary? Previously, when you're using a iPad booth or a selfie booth without a DSLR camera, of course you wanna bring in a lot of light. But in this situation, I don't bring any extra lighting. This flash head here, along with the functionality as far as how much I'm bumping up the ISO within the actual application, the software app, I am totally fine with this. Also, if this ever fails you, your flash goes crazy, you have 13,000 lumens right in here. So you can actually make this a lot brighter. While on the topic, someone asked me about these lights right here. If you guys forget your remote at home, or forget to give it to your photo booth attendant. There's an application that Miss Professional owners have in their asset folder where it'll show you a QR code. You can download the app so that you guys can manipulate the lighting right here. In fact, if I have it connected, I can show you guys really quick. Let me go ahead and connect here. So I'm gonna turn it up 
right? This is the brightness, and then I'm gonna turn it down. I can change the color. So you can, I'm doing this uh, all from my phone. My favorite is to keep it on a warm white like this. It goes with the aesthetic of the booth. All right, so yeah, you guys can actually manipulate the colors with your phone through an application, so that's really handy. Mount, let's go back around. Maybe I should have kept you guys back here educating you on the back end of Mr. Professional and the internals. You can get it with the landscape, but you're not limited to that. When you make your purchase, you're also gonna get the mount that's gonna be in portrait mode, okay? So I like both. I really don't have a preference. It just depends on what template the client wants to select. Uh, let's see, can we use the iPad without the DSLR? Let me show you something up front right over here in the aesthetics. I've talked to the manufacturer and yes, we can produce a plate that will have this sealed off, but this will take away from the appeal and the sexiness from Mr. Professional because then you have this wide gap right here. It'd be cool though if we can put our logo right here, but then again, it might be somewhat of a sore eye. So yes, you can do it, with it without a DSLR, but quite honestly, the fact that this is a DSLR booth, I would just keep it DSLR to produce the best production possible for the client. Let's go over more questions. Shipping to Canada and the UK. Shipping is a lot more complex when it comes to those logistics. So shipping won't be absolutely free for the UK and Canada. However, I'm trying to find ways that we can get it through maybe train or a way where it'll be way more cost effective and you guys don't have to shell out money on the shipping price. So I'm figuring that out. Stay tuned in for that. Uh, someone asked, David, can we use the Canon R5? That's a crazy expensive camera. You can use a Canon R5, but you're gonna have to dump down the settings, meaning you wanna make the file as small as possible. Oh, the bottom part, will it pinch the cable? So someone asked me, will this cable right here cause the booth to wobble? I want you guys to see the bottom plate right over here. The bottom plate of the booth has these little legs. So there's actually clearance between the actual plate, the foundation, the base, and the legs. So it's enough space for the cable to come out without this rocking back and forth. So it, see that? You guys can't really see that when you're standing up looking over. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not going to pinch the cable at all, which is great. There's other designs similar to Mr. Professional, nearly the perfect photo booth. And one thing that I like about this style right here is that if you guys wanna remove this iPad, you don't have to do anything from the back. All you have to do is remove these two right here and it comes off. So that's, that's what another thing that I love is that if you guys are switching from one iPad to the other, all you gotta do is just remove these screws right here and you guys are set to go. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. I coupled it with the MS300V. This is perfect for any booth. Um, especially if you're starting off and quite honestly, I don't think you need more than 300 watts of power. Right now I'm indoors. Let me take a quick photo. Maybe I'm a little too close. We'll check out the settings together right now. So I'll go ahead and upload this photo. I look a little, um, a little stony, but I'm not stoned at all. Uh, but I am high on life and I am looking forward to any new questions that might arise. In a few days, you guys, that uh, you know what? Let me do this. Let me do this. I wasn't expecting to do this, but let me do this. I'm gonna shout out everyone that's bought a Mr. Professional. So listen out for your name. If I was purchasing something from someone and I heard my name shouted out, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna do it because I think it would be pretty cool. All right, here goes the names. Congratulations to Femi Moses, Stephanie Crossdale, Claremont Ellibert, Stephen Chu, Wing Bon, Arua Soha, Armando Diaz, Andre Abadia, Christian Ramirez, Amor Williams, Lilian Ochoa, David Haskins, Elizabeth Acosta Pearson, Kevin Gaddis, Brian Chura, James McGovern. Thank you so much, guys. You're gonna have an email sent to you with Mr. Professional's owner asset folder. Dive into those details, dive into those videos, those photos, and those templates. Enjoy those, use those to help your business grow. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace.